Alright, so in this video we're going to do one more example using Heron's formula. So we're going to find the uh, area of the triangle PQR given that little p has length 18, little q has length 21.6 inches, and uh, angle q is 52 degrees. So to use Heron's formula we just need to find the length of the missing side and we can just plug everything in and be in business. But uh, to figure out the missing side, well, I think we're actually going to have to use the law of sines a couple times, or at least that'll work for us. But first off, to figure out, you know, to use the law of sines, uh, we're given angle Q and the side opposite opposite that, the length of it. We're only given uh, the side length opposite angle P, so the first thing I'm going to do is figure out the angle P. We can use that to help us figure out the angle R. Then we'll use that to figure out the side length. And then we'll finally be in a position to where we can actually use Heron's formula. Alright, so um, so let's see, we could say the sine of angle P over 18, that's going to equal sine of 52 degrees over 21.6. So all I'm going to do here is just multiply both sides by 18. And we'll get sine of P is going to be, so sine of 52 degrees times 18 over 21.6. Let's see here, so let's do sine of 52 degrees. I'm getting sine of 52 degrees to be roughly 0.788. We'll multiply that by 18 over 21.6, so 0.788 multiplied by 18 divided by 21.6. I'm getting that to be roughly 0.657 after rounding. So now we can just do the inverse sine of both sides. So we'll get P is the inverse sine of 0.657. So let's see the inverse sine of 0.657, I'm getting that to be roughly 41.07 degrees. And I think I'm just going to round that off to 41 degrees. So now we can go back to our triangle. We know that angle P here is now 41 degrees. Well, we can uh, add these together, right? We can do 52 degrees plus uh, 41 degrees, and then whatever angle R is, when we add all those up we've got to get 180 degrees since they're all inside of a triangle. So that's going to be 93 degrees plus uh, the angle R is 180 degrees. We can always subtract 93 and if we subtract 93 I believe we should be left with 87 degrees. So now really angle R here is 87 degrees so definitely not to scale here. And now I'm going to use the law of sines again to figure out this side length. Alright, so um, again, maybe we'll call this little r. So the side length little r over sine of 87 degrees, that's going to equal, um, it doesn't matter which one we use, I think I'll use the 21.6 over sine of 52 degrees. Now we could just multiply both sides by sine of 87 degrees. So we'll get that R equals 21.6 times sine of 87 degrees over sine of 52 degrees. <clears throat> so let's see, uh, I think we said somewhere sine of, uh, did we calculate sine of uh, 52 degrees we did. Uh, we said sine of 52 degrees was 0.788. So that's what's going to go in the denominator, the 0.788. We've also got to calculate sine of 87 degrees. I don't know if we did that one. I don't think we did. So sine of 87 degrees, I'm getting 0.999 after rounding. So let's see, we'll do 21.6 times 0.999, not going to change that much, divided by 0.788. I'm getting this to equal 
27.38, uh, I guess, inches, since that's what we were using before. So, okay, so we're getting a little bit closer. Um, I think I'll round this off. Uh, so 27.38, I'm going to round that off to 27.4. And now we've got all the side lengths. <coughs> so we can finally use Heron's formula to actually simply uh, find the area. So, okay, to use Heron's formula, we first have to find the semi-perimeter, 27.4 plus 18 plus 21.6 all over 2. I think this is definitely stuff that uh, at the end of the day I'd plug all into a calculator. So 27.4 uh, plus 18 plus 21.6. Um, hey, that's exactly 67 on top. Uh, 67 divided by 2 is going to be what? I believe 33.5. Uh, so now we can just use Heron's formula. Whoops, so not S, but now we're getting the area A. So it says we take 33.5, then we have to take 33.5 and just subtract away each of the different lengths. So let's see, one of the lengths was 27.4, then we would have to take 33.5 and subtract away um, 18, and then we would have to take 33.5 subtract away the other length, which was 21.6. Squeeze all that in there. And again, now it's just, uh, just a bunch of arithmetic, nothing worse than that. So 33.5, let's see, um, if we take 33.5 and subtract 27.4, we should just get uh, 6.1. <coughs> so 33.5 minus 18. That's just going to give us 15.5. Uh, and then if we do 33.5, and if we subtract away 21.6, that's just going to give us 11.9. So let's see. I'm going to multiply all these together now. So 33.5. 33.5 times 6.1 times 15.5 times 11.9. I'm getting a pretty big number underneath there, which makes sense. 37692.3575. So now I'm just going to square root that. And it says the area is roughly equal to 194.15 square inches. And I'm just going to round that off to 194 square inches.